I made it to Venice, one of Italy's most picturesque cities with plenty of canals, tiny islands, bridges, and Renaissance architecture. With a gondola ride checked off the bucket list, here's what we did on our three-day stay in Venice. Welcome back to the channel. We just arrived in Venice from Lake Como. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave it here. And the way that we got here... <laughs> and the way that we got... The way that we got here was so memorable. Let's rewind an hour. Oh my god. I get so nervous with the bags. <laughs> We're about to sink this boat with all our weight. Oh. Because <laughs> we, New York is like. I'm so excited to explore. The Rialto Bridge. Really? And this is where we're staying. So I have a thing for finding rooms with a view and I checked out many different types of hotels and this one stood out because there is their own private dock so you can see the gondoliers go by and I thought that would be a really memorable experience. This is what the room looks like. Our host actually painted this centerpiece which I think is so beautiful. And this is a huge studio. We have owls over here. It's his birthday tomorrow and we have a little kitchen area but let's just revisit it this you can have your aperitivo here there's also a rolling cart that you can take out to bring your own drinks on your dock and look at this are you serious right now how freaking cool is this literally obsessed and here we are so cool what do you think about this place i'm really impressed you guys she finds the best places i'm so lucky <laughs> I have a method, but you have to do it months in advance. This is probably booked oh, I bet. for a while. It's not the cheapest room. Obviously, there's a private dock, but I felt like we had to splurge a little just because it's your birthday tomorrow. When in Venice, right? Let's just, let's just do it, you know? And it's gonna be nice to just have some drink, food. So I've been here before, Dana yes. hasn't, so. I think we need to get our trip going. And soak it all in. Yeah. After checking in, we decided to wander around and head to dinner. We went to a place our host recommended and it was actually really good. You can have spritz on the go. Stunning. So we just did a little walk. I can see how it's very easy to get lost here. We found where we're staying. We're staying right there, which is really amazing. And this is the other view that we see. We found a restaurant which is recommended by our host. And they had a table. I don't think they take reservations. It's so like first come, first serve. And they serve seafood. And inside, it's super cute and quaint. Shrimp and oil. So the thing about eating black pasta is that your teeth turn black. <laughs> Tutti bene, tutti bene, tutti bene, tutti bene. 
Don't yawn. Don't yawn. <laughs> There's no line left. Cheers. 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 I miss lemon cello. Feels like we're back on the Amalfi Coast, but we're in Venice. Yes. <laughs> After dinner, we decided to walk a little bit and wander, and we found ourselves by the Rialto Bridge. It's much bigger in person than I thought it was. Everyone is kind of sitting by the canal, having some Aperol spritzes. So I wanted to wait until tomorrow to see the main square. We've been wandering around and we are here in the front of it. So this is gonna be my first reaction. Fans, yeah. Oh my god. It's for when it floods later. Yeah, during high tide. Oh my goodness. So Alice explained to me that these are for when it floods and I'm just like, I don't even... And during the high tide. High tide. It's so beautiful, but it's chilly. It's chilly, it's chilly, but I honestly, it is so cool. Good morning from Venice. Buongiorno. It's Al's birthday. <laughs> and so I did a little surprise this morning. Yes. And it only took maybe like 30 minutes for you to figure out. What yeah, it was. so she surprised me with some balloons and a card, and that was really nice. Hopefully, we. And the sign. And the birthday the sign. sign. So hopefully, you got some footage of that. So now we're going to Cafe Florian, and yes. we're going to have some coffee, cappuccinos, breakfast, and go to St. Mark's Square. Yeah, which is the oldest coffee shop in Venice. I don't know if it's the I think the it's world, in the world, world, perhaps. Who knows? Well, I know it's gorgeous. So also, like, yesterday, we kind of just, like, walked around. And honestly, Venice is so cool. Like, I've never been here before. Al has been here. Yes. And it is just like a movie. I can see why it's so popular. The main way to get around Venice is by the canals. That means deliveries, ambulances, police, taxis are all boats. This makes Venice a pedestrian-friendly city. Everything is pretty much within walking distance, which makes traveling here so much fun. We've made it to San Marco Square. And it's a bit busier than it was last night, but yep. there's still the music playing. Buongiorno. Oh, where'd she go? Oh, okay, good. We are inside the menu. They have a frozen tiramisu, which I think Al. <laughs> Al orders tiramisu everywhere, so I feel like maybe he would like that. But I'm thinking just a regular cappuccino. Look how cute this is. <laughs> That's cool. It's like in a glass. This is one with whipped cream. This is for you, birthday boy. Look. St. Mark's Square is the largest square in the heart of Venice. This square is home to the St. Mark's Basilica, the Bell Tower, and the Dodge's Palace, which can be toured inside. Right off the Dodge Palace is the Bridge of Sighs, where legend has it, prisoners would get one last look of Venice before imprisonment. So it started to rain. We just got this jacket in Milan. Yeah, we got this at Uniqlo. Must have a rain jacket, especially 
you know, something lightweight, especially in the spring and... Um, yeah, rainy off, but I think it's gonna get sunnier later. But after our little splurge on coffee this morning, the drinks were about 13, 15 euros for just like a cappuccino. Coffee, I think, was 11 euros, so it's definitely a bit pricey. But for a reason, it's like a very iconic place to have a coffee. It's beautiful inside, so yeah. definitely worth it. Do it once, and then you say you've done it. <laughs> gone and the sun is gonna pop through which is gonna be so cool because it's been a bit gray and rainy all morning and all yesterday so I'm excited to see the colors and everything and we're just wandering around taking some pictures For lunch, we decided to try the takeaway pasta. We went to Del Moro's, which is famous for it. I ordered a really spicy fish pasta and it was really good. We are back in the room, gonna just enjoy our little dock, cause why not? And I think honestly, wandering the streets and getting lost is kind of like one of the best ways to explore a city, especially Venice, cause there's so many beautiful quaint like alleyways. Some of them are dead ends, but I think the best part is just kind of exploring yourself and all of the buildings are just beautiful. Woo! All right, let's do a blood orange mimosa. They have blood orange and like juices like this. I'm jealous. Happy birthday! Cheers. Today is an amazing day. Cheers. We made it outside. If you're looking for a free thing to do in Venice, you have to put this on your list for the best views in the city. Located inside this shopping mall is a top level, which has great views of the city. It is free, but you do need to make reservations in advance and it's only a 15 minute time slot. So we are currently at a mall and inside on the top level, there's a free terrace where you can get an amazing view. We have seen Venice on the ground level and getting a view above, I think it's been really cool. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. Yeah. Oh my god, everyone's there. So this is the view from the top. It's quite small, but they only let a certain amount of people up here at a certain time. That's why you need a reservation. So it's not overpacked. And you have an amazing view of the Grand Canal the Rialto Bridge, and then this is the canal that we came in from the train station, so it loops around, and the train station is over there. And it is really spectacular, and it's a free thing to do, so you definitely must put this on your list of things to do when you are in Venice. I will leave the link and info down below so you can book your tickets. After the view, we walked over the Rialto Bridge and headed to dinner.
Get some drinks after dinner at a cocktail bar. success for Al, right? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> I feel like we've been having a lot of late mornings here in Venice. I don't know what it is. Usually we wake up a bit earlier when we're traveling, but for some reason, I don't know, I think the bed is really comfortable. Maybe that's what it is. But I'm all dressed up because we're gonna go on a gondola. We've seen so many pass by. I was like, we probably should just do it. Like, I feel like it's like one of those things where it's like a bucket list moment. If you don't do it, like, you know, like you go to Venice, you do a gondola ride. It's 80 euros for 30 minutes. And I was figuring out what I wanted to wear. And I was like, why don't you wear the ball gown? I was like, you know what? That'd be kind of cute for a picture. So I'm going to be all dressed up just for the gondola. But then I'm going to come back and change. To get a gondola, there's like little points along the river that you could just show up. So I think we're just going to find a point and hopefully our guy is super fun. We're waiting for the gondola ride. This is where you pick it up. There's usually some guys here. Are you excited? Parlate italiano, English. 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 Okay. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> no, can, I, can I give you this first? Just wait a second. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. We did it. Can you sit that side? Oh. And the kiss it to you. Right here. here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we made it on. Yay, gracefully. Yeah. <laughs> cool. It's a, I feel light. And you start where and you... And we come back here. Here? Start. Okay. It's a route we see first at the Grand Canal, where are some important things. Wow. Then the small canal in the quiet area. Okay. And then we come back here where we start. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it can get pretty close. It can get pretty close. <laughs> I never knew that. Yeah, be like a Alberto, se saludemos qua porque. I mean, this is. Yo sé que hoy no me llevo ya. Ah, ahora va bien, bello va. Porque se no camino, arriba como un sopetón de allá. After our gondola ride, we found a local spot for some light breakfast and we had a really good time. Just got served a plate of food. Let's eat it. Okay, so the guy who I think is the owner, he came over and saw that we looked at the food when it came out and we were like, ooh. And then once he was serving it to customers, he was like, okay, here's your plate to try. Gnocchi with pesto and the risotto. Like, risotto. like pomodoro. Really good, actually. I that was so cool. It's very, oh, that's delicious. That's so good. 
All right, we're back out again. The gondola ride was so much fun. It goes by very quickly though. So definitely just take it, soak it all in while you're on it. And we learned so much. There's about like 400 boats themselves, but only around 100 are running at a specific time. And they're all regulated and they also have different schedules that they go by every day. They have a new point where they pick up and drop off, which I thought was really interesting. Now it will change and we are going to the fish market. <laughs> to the fish market. It's closing soon, so let's see if we can see any fish. And also, our fish last night was from this market. They get everything fresh that day, and they make it for the dinner at night. The birds are here. All right, we got our spritzes. <laughs> wow. always love trying local foods and in Venice it's all about the chiquettis which are small light bites they're kind of like pinchos in Spain so we found a place and we decided to try a few and here we are at our table <laughs> our standing table Tavola. All right, you can't leave Venice without trying some of their chiquettis, which are small little bites. You can find them at like casual spots. We picked a few. They all look really good. And then we got some rosé. And it's super crowded inside, so we're just standing outside and we're gonna have some of these bites. So the first one I think we got, this is the picante, spicy, I think it's like fish inside. Mm. 
That's really good. You're gonna like that one. I like it a lot. This is the burrata and pomodoro. Mmm. day we went to a lot of local places which i absolutely love finding when we're traveling and we are now again relaxing on our little balcony we are headed to dinner in a few i always like to leave early so we can walk there leisurely because it is quite busy and we are just enjoying our last night here in venice if i were to rebook our trip to venice i would have added one more full day to go to either murano or burano which are islands off of venice i actually plan on visiting burano today but we honestly felt like we didn't want to wake up early go to the ferry do a day trip we wanted to more like relax today so in hindsight i would have added one more day here in venice so three full days i think would be perfect to really just like chill and see everything but yeah we're just doing some we're drinking our wine here on the balcony and the gondoliers are definitely recognizing us and they're saying hi as they pass by and i'm really excited for tonight's dinner we called like for an outdoor table so hopefully they have a reservation made it to dinner and you need a reservation no matter what and we have a beautiful view of this like little water it's very nice we're gonna order some wine have some dinner but this is like the perfect way we've never tried bargolina no <laughs> we have the seafood risotto. Is it good? Really good. Last but not least, we got the fried Frito Misto, which is like a mix of vegetables, fried everything else, and the presentation is really cool. Very good. Good morning, everyone. It's our last few moments here in Venice. So I wanna show you something that I got at a store. I walked past this little purse shop. It's from Venice. They have a store here in Venice, they have three. And this is just a cute little summer bucket bag. I love the details of the like canvas and then this is genuine leather. So it isn't like a full leather bag, but I liked it because it was just the perfect size and it goes with all of like my summer outfit. And this was 109 euros, Palateria Veneta. And it was made in Italy. I, I walked by some other purse places and I walked inside and, and knew they were not made in Italy because I saw the same bag like in a few other different like random shops. So I was like, I want something a bit more like that is actually from Venice. So I picked up that bag and then I not resist these shirts. First of all, I love buying shirts to like sleep in. So I like to get JAMA shirts. So I found this one. I liked it because the logo isn't like pressed on or anything. So I think it'll last a bit longer. But this one, I just could not resist because I feel like this is so me. It'd be cute, worn with like shorts shorts in summer i think it's just like a fun shirt and this logo though is printed on so i feel like this one after a few washes might get a little crackly but either way i just i had to have it we actually have a water taxi picking us up and driving us all the way to the airport it's a 30 minute ride and that is 150 euros so if you plan on taking water taxis or the gondola ride be prepared to spend a lot of money on the water taxis leaving in style on a water taxi and it's really loud so i'll make this short thank you so much for watching we are actually headed to paris right now so that vlog will be up next on the channel so be sure you hit that subscribe button with that i hope you guys have an awesome day and i will see you we will see you in the next one bye guys bye. Ah! <laughs> 
if you take a water taxi, be prepared for a wild ride to the airport.